Well, welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, here we are in the end of October, heading into November. We are moving closer and closer to the halfway point in our year-end strategy, our year-end campaign. I hope that you've already taken advantage of a lot of the videos and materials that we have made available. I've included a bonus package of materials that you can request to have sent to you for the year-end strategy. If you haven't already done that, go down to the comment section or into the description and click to get those resources. But I'm excited about year end and I hope that you've already begun to at least write your letter and maybe even sent that off to the printer if you've done that. So it's an exciting time of the year. I hope you're planning on making phone calls and visits when you're able. So it's an important time for us to be able to do the things that are necessary to make this a great year-end process. Well, let's dive into our question of the week this week. It's from Joe in Reading, Pennsylvania. And Joe asks, I would like to try a matching gift concept with our dinner, but I'm uncertain what matching dollar amount to strive for. Can you help with this? Well, absolutely, Joe. Thanks so much for your question. Um, as you put together a matching gift effort, I mentioned more than a few times, and I've got a video uh, coming out actually on Tuesday on how to do a matching gift effort at year end. But matching gifts can also be used effectively for dinners, and that's an exciting way for people to give. What I generally do, and my rule of thumb, in a perfect world, I like to start with the overall goal for your dinner. So if you set a goal, of, 50, of 150,000 that you'd like to raise for your dinner. What you want to look for in a perfect world would be to find half of that in matching money. Because when someone gives their gift, essentially it's doubled. So if you could meet the match of 75,000, that would be doubled to 150 to reach your goal. And so that in itself would be really exciting. But don't fall into the trap of having to go with 50%. I've mentioned more than a few times that I have succeeded with matching gift programs even using as little as 10% of the goal. Last summer, I had a team that really wanted to raise about 190,000. We actually set a goal of 25 to 50,000 that we thought would be great for them to be able to raise. But when we got down to two or three days before, I had a conversation with the director and frankly, they were ready, the director was ready to just not do a match at all. And I pleaded with him that it's so important to at least find something. So in the next two days, he was able to find 10,000 in matching gifts. We set the number to, to meet that qualification of 10,000 max at 1200 or or $100 a month. Prior to this dinner, they had only gotten three gifts of $1,200 or more. At this dinner, they got 21 gifts of $1,200 or more. And I believe, and he does now too, it was attributed to the match. So in that case, that was just a fraction of the $190,000 that they needed. But it added enough to accelerate their giving that they were able to have a very successful dinner, more than they ever expected. So, Joe, don't fall into the trap of thinking that it has to be 50%. But if you can get 50%, that would be tremendous. Now, remember, one of the things that I like to do is find those pace setting commitments. Are there individuals in your organization who have given gifts of five or 10,000 or more in the past and I would go to those people and see if they'd be willing to contribute to the pool that you're putting together of matching gift commitments. So what we're looking for, as an example, we, if, our, if our matching gift pool commitment amount was $25,000, we'd want to find five gifts of $5,000 or potentially 10 gifts of 
$500. Or even you may find one person to give 15 and another to give 10. There's a lot of ways to get to that 25. But honestly, if you have success with talking with two or three people to get 25,000, you may want to consider going out to more to get to 30, 35, or even 40,000 for your match. I can guarantee you it's going to make a difference and increase that. Years ago, I had a good friend who was working for a rescue mission in Washington, D.C. It was their 100th anniversary, and they set a goal, overall goal, of 100,000 to raise, and they set out to get $50,000 in matching money. By God's grace, what ended up happening was they got so many people wanting to make pay-setting commitments that they had a matching amount of 100000 increased their goal to 200000 and raised every bit of that, even beyond that, to 230000 So getting the right amount is very important, but don't fall in the trap. Just doing a matching gift is important. And remember, as tempting as it is to match every gift, Please really look for that ceiling, that amount, that minimum amount that you put out there to strive to push people to that. If you have people giving 500, get them to 1200. Giving 1000, get them to 1200. We are a competitive society. America is competitive. And as a result, we want to achieve goals. We want to accomplish what people put out there. And if we put 1200 out there or $100 a month, you would be surprised how well that works. And when you use the $100 a month, you'd be surprised how many people decide that they want to start giving monthly. And what organization does not need more monthly gifts? So Joe, I hope that helped you uh, achieve your goal of wanting to come up with a, a good number. So please do so. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, we are trying to build a community of life changers who are wanting to make a difference in individual lives in the world and in eternity. And I hope that you'll come join us. If you have interest, we are really expanding our Life Changers Facebook group. Please go out there. Also, we're on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And we are also at Twitter at Dev F Strats and use the hashtag Jim, Jim and Java. Include questions in any of those areas. You can always email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And I hope that you are making a difference in our world. If you haven't watched our perfect development year-end strategy video, I'll put a link up above and watch it now. And I hope that you will strive to increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.